here. My name is Destiny. I'm so excited to have you back or welcome you to this channel. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. I definitely want to apologize to my subscribers. I promised you guys two videos a week. I was so excited to deliver this schedule and just, you know, commit to you guys as best as I can. Um, but we did have some personal issues going on at home. Um, again, I just want to clarify that has nothing to do with my husband or my children. Um, so just to give you guys a little background, um, we do live in a bi-level house um, and we share the responsibilities of the house with my parents. Um, and the reasoning for that was we came back here when our lease was up while searching for a house and I... Um, got pregnant with Xavier and got put out maternity leave early. So I didn't return to work right away. You know, like I was out of work longer than I anticipated. And then I couldn't return back to work because of daycare expenses, um, which is like a whole nother story. Um, but for those of you who live in New Jersey, uh, you know what I'm talking about or really anywhere. Cause I'm pretty sure we all pay around the same amount for daycare. So um, with both kids being in daycare, it just wasn't going to work. Um, so our goal was when Carmel started kindergarten, I would go back to work and we would start actively looking for a house. Um, and then COVID happened and Carmelo is hybrid. So I still have to stay home with him um, and, you know, be able to teach him and do the like more logical route um, as far as finances. Um, for me to go back to work, it was going to cost us more than it would for me to just stay home. So things are just, you know, it's a little bit of an adjustment, but we're, you know, we're working with it. Um, so I had asked you guys what you wanted to see on the channel and like what kind of content I can bring to you. You guys have great ideas. Uh, fall DIYs, um, fall recipes, clean with me's, organization, but um, with a current, um, state of our living we are i myself don't feel um i myself don't feel the need or want to record in someone else's house and just like organize someone else's house it's just not what i wanted to do um so yeah so I decided to put a hold on that and I felt like it was time for me to acknowledge that with you guys because I have been avoiding the subject um, and so many of you guys have been reaching out and asking like what's going on where's your channel you know where are all these videos that you promised us and I could not beat around the bush so I just went in <laughs> directly and told you <laughs> um I have learned a lot over the last couple of weeks and I don't want to minimize that self growth. So I'm going to elaborate. I am very blessed to have my husband um, and my children. And we were lucky to have a situation that accommodated us up until recently. Um, unfortunately, things are, you know, what they are. And I'll forever be thankful, but you know, it's time for us to accept that we can no longer coexist in the same house as um, my parents. Um, and you know, it's, it's just time for the growth. So one of the things I realized was my mental health has been challenged the last couple of weeks around here. And I wanted to take full control um, of my life back. I was allowing someone else's toxicity and um, deflecting ways to taint my well-being. Um, and I wasn't able to give 100% of myself to my husband and my kids during that time. And I definitely just had to put a halt to it and, you know, accept a few things. Um, I want you guys to understand this. You can't change people. Uh, no matter how hard we try, no matter how hard we love, we can't change people. The only thing we can do is change our perspective and how we handle situations. Um, I will no longer allow somebody to cripple my ability to be a mom 
I found myself crying a lot. I found myself questioning my my morals and you know what I stood by and if I was being irrational, if I was being um, spiteful, if I was leading more with hate than love. Um, yeah, so it was time for me to open my eyes. Um, it was time for me to acknowledge what was going on with me and not allowing someone else's problems affect my mental health. Um, so it was removing myself from a situation and just solely focusing on what I had control over. I am a control freak. I am a control freak. I love things to be exactly how I want them. I like uh, my channel to operate that it does. I like for my kids to have everything that they want and more. And being a stay at home mom and trying to like move forward with things, it's a little hard because I'm used to having um, financially a, a, a share into that. Um, so it's a little bit of an adjustment. Um, my, I love my husband, but like I always saw him, like it, I've always had plan A, B, and C. You know, I love him. I always knew he was going to be around, but you know, as a mother, as a woman, I always had to plan for a backup. Um, and right now I just kind of feel like I'm in a corner a little bit. My hands are really tied in the situation. Um, so Mello decided to get a new job, which I'm super excited for him on. He, for those of you that know, he's like a phenomenal mechanic and just found like a new place to work at. So I'm excited for him, for us, um, and see where this journey takes us. Um, I found that prioritizing my, my family needed to be key. Um, and in order for me to do that, I needed to figure out what my trigger was. I needed to um, figure out how to figure out my trigger was and then figure out how to deal with that trigger and then grow from that. So it took a while for me to acknowledge that I had um, family trauma issues um, from years and it was surfacing now. And I don't know if it's 2020, <laughs> if it's t being 30, if it's being a stay at home mom, if it's um, feeling like I'm in a corner, <laughs> I don't know what it is, um, but I have a little more fire in my soul, a little more um, drive. I am extremely thankful to my husband and, his, and my mother-in-law who have picked me up from the floor um, as I cried and told me to pretty much dust my shoulders off, accept the things that I cannot change and learn to um, grow in the areas that I can. So like I said, I'm all about the self growth, self love, and I want to continue to project that to my subscribers, to anyone who's um, checking in on my YouTube channel, to um, people that have questions, like here's your answers. Um, so yeah, so it is a touchy subject. It's not one that I want to completely air out because I want to protect that person who um, is going through their own situation um, and to the extent that I can and just and grow from it. I have learned so much about myself in the last two weeks. It's so crazy. Um, I acknowledge that I'm an amazing mother. I tell my kids I love them at least 100,000 times a day. My children will never go a day wondering if mommy cared or if mommy, you know, didn't give her all or if mommy and anything. They don't have to question me as a mother because I support them. I am there for them. And it's evident um, in how I'm raising them. It's evident in how they are as human beings. Um, but if I continued the route that I was going down, I would damage them mentally. And that's unfair to them because 
they shouldn't have to pay the consequences of things that happened before they even existed. That's just the truth of the matter. So it was yeah, getting up off the floor, literally, drying my face of all the tears that I've cried and acknowledging that not everything is gonna work out the way that you plan and not everyone is in your corner and that's cool like that it is what it is um but you can always guarantee that your children are gonna have your back as long as you know i give to them everything that they need emotionally financially physically anything that they need i provide for them and they don't have to i don't need to question myself as a mother I don't need to um, wonder if I'm giving my all because it's uh, it's obviously very clear that I am. So I wanted to get that off my chest. I don't know if that even made sense, um, but I feel better. <laughs> I feel like I explained myself the best way that I can um, to you guys. And I can promise you I'm going to give you these videos. I'm going to give you the channel that I promised um once we move forward um in a different living situation um where i can record um authentically and yeah so um with all that being said i did have a few questions that i wanted to answer um for my i'm sorry i'm it was hard for me to shoot this video um and I, like I said, I recorded the whole first one and I tried not to cry. <laughs> and then I tried to remember everything I said and it was just a lot. So I'm pretty sure I touched on all the subjects that I had already um, talked about on the video that I recorded backwards. <laughs> um, so I wanted to answer some of my Instagram questions because I love you guys and you guys are literally amazing. Let's see. All right, so the first question I had um, when I asked you guys, like, give me some questions to answer on my channel um, was, what is your favorite adult beverage? And like you guys, I said this before, I'm from Jersey. Um, if you have access to Jersey wines or you're in Jersey, Valazano's Chemung Red is literally my favorite wine. It is amazing. It is so relaxing and really anything from them I love. So, yeah. Um, if you haven't already, definitely give that a try. Um, the next question I have is, who's your best friend? Um, and that was from one of my best friends. And I could not, I would not be here if it wasn't from the moral support of all of my best friends. So, um, Katie, Lynn, Grace, H, um, Claire, Jen, and my girls from school, Connie, Kristen, and, and Rachel, you guys all have given me more love and support and encouragement um, than anyone. I mean, you guys know me better half the time, better than I know myself. You guys are little mirrors of telling me the God honest truth, um, telling me when I'm being bratty, telling me when I can do better, telling me I need to do better, telling me I'm so much more. I am forever in debt to you guys. Like you guys, I'm not gonna cry on my YouTube channel. You guys have no idea the strength that I get from my best friends. Like, I don't, I literally don't know what I would be without you guys. So um, to answer your question, I love you all. Um, thank you. I mean, thank you. Um, the next question was, why are your titties so big? I personally want a breast reduction. I don't, is that wrong? I don't know. I have like shoulder pain from my boobs and I would just like them to be like, significantly smaller um they've always been ginormous so hopefully that's something i can do someday i know that's i don't i don't know is that like not a thing i don't i don't know i just i would very much love for them to be like smaller um what are some things you do to put structure in your day um so before i got really challenged with my mental health i had a very structured day like my kids woke up and it was like, by 8.30, we're this. By 9 o'clock, we're here. We're by 9.30, we're this. And we had all these different 
um, plans for the day. We always kept ourselves really active. And then with COVID, um, I even made a COVID in-house schedule and that was to my best of my ability up until, um, you know, until probably around summer. And yeah, so now what I do is I try to wake up around 5.30 um, before everyone else wakes up. And I usually write down my day, at least like a guided idea of what we're gonna do. This helps me kind of stay on track as far as like cleaning, um, errands. Um, really and truly, it's just like getting off of, sorry, I'm having a hot flash. Um, it's just getting me off of the sofa. Um, if I don't have structure in my day and I do have like multiple notes, um, pads that I do that with, um, if I don't have structure in my day, I find that I, I physically won't get off of the sofa. I struggle. So um, having structure is really important for me. If you find yourself being all over the place, I really suggest you um, having, you know, an earlier rise um, before your children. That does help set the tone for the day. Um, and during that time, just write down three things you know you have to do, three things you want to do, and three things you know you don't want to do. Um, I even add in like the water intake as well because I don't drink enough water and it's like prevalent in my skin and all over. So definitely just kind of note those things and, and what's going to work best for you and your family. Um, the next question is, what are your biggest accomplishments in 2020 besides your titties? <laughs> um, so... I love my YouTube channel. I am so proud of my YouTube channel. It's only been running for about four months now. And I love documenting. I love looking back at the videos and seeing the babies and just, you know, self growth over the channel. Like I started the channel for, um, you know, to, to watch the kids, you know, as they get older, but also to, just kind of get things off of my chest and to, and to help my mental health. So, you know, I am super proud of that. Um, but then it's like I got married in 2020. So I'm, I'm so happy about that. And um, just so many other things too. But I, I do have to say my channel is my, that was such a huge leap for me to give you guys a true authentic version of myself and just like, be 100 with people I don't even know so it, it's a little intimidating I'm not gonna lie but I love every moment of it um what do you cherish most in your support system my husband um he has been my rock he has literally picked me up off the floor and told me how amazing I am. Um, he has called out of work to stay home with the kids so that I can get back on my feet. Um, he has uh, sacrificed so much for my happiness. Um, my best friends who don't even need a text message from me to know I'm going through something or not even going through something, but my best friends who dragged me out of the house um, to have a mommy day because they knew that it was best um, in, in the best interest of myself. Um, to my father, who as a parent has bent over backwards, um, as a grandfather who has who looks forward to coming home every day to see their grandkid. Oh God, I. I'm so blessed to have a support system like I do. And my family, my aunts, my mother-in-law who, oh my God, if it wasn't for her, you guys have no idea where I would be at right now. Um, she has been a huge support system for me. She has reminded me where that I'm not this negative version of myself that this is only a season that I need to be humbled by what I have and to turn to God for everything else that I need balance with oh my god I can go on forever my mother-in-law she 
has got me out of a lot of dark holes recently. She has helped me accept that, again, I can't change other people. I can't change who, what personal issues someone else has going on. I can't change the, how unhappy they are, but I can change for myself and for my children and my husband. I can be so much more than just than just uh, consequences of mental health. I, I can be so much more than that. And honestly, a lot of that goes to my mother-in-law. So if you watch this, um, thank you. I love you. Um, yeah, I, I do, I have a great support system. So you guys, I wanna make a few things very clear. I am a 30 year old mother of two. I am a wife. I am a, the daughter of an amazing guy. I am loved by a lot of people. I do not have ill intentions towards anyone. Um, as of September 30th, I have to let go. I don't have control and I'm okay with that. I do not have control over other people, but I do, I do know one thing and it's the one thing I've learned literally in the last four days. Um, I'm not them. I'm not them. I am so much more than um, dark days. I am so much more than habits. I am so much more than, I'm so much more than depression. I am a good friend. I'm a good daughter. I'm a good wife. I'm a great mother. 2020 has knocked me down a lot, but the one thing that it was not, that it did do and I'm thankful for is it weeded out a lot of people that no longer need to be in my life. So I'm accepting that I can love people, but I'm gonna love them from afar because I no longer want um, the negative energy around me. I don't want it around my kids. I don't want it around my marriage. <laughs> I want uh, to lead by an example. Um, I want more happier days than dark days. I want to embrace the love around me, to embrace the people around me. And I need to do that um, by saying this video and saying exactly what has been on my mind, on my soul, and really just, I'm moving forward. Um, tomorrow is a new month. My son turns six and I have a lot to offer to YouTube and I can't do that if I am stuck in a dark place. Um, I also don't want to allow anyone to have control over me like that ever again um, and it will never happen again. Um, I learned a lot. So for those of you who have gone through something recently, especially the month of September, <laughs> um, leave it in, your com in my comments, talk to me, let me know um, what you're battling, um, hardships you're going through. Um, are you having a hard time juggling um, parenthood? Are you having a hard time juggling your marriage? Um, and are you having a hard time juggling your know, personal life and all of that combined? Um, let me help you help yourself. Let me help you help yourself. Does that make sense? Um, I want to be an example for you guys. I want you guys to look at these videos, then see them in a year from now and be like, wow, that chick has come a long way and you're going to see it. And it's going to be an amazing journey. And I'm glad that the things that happened um, in the recent um, weeks had happened the way that they did um, because it ignited a fire in me that has been burned out for some quite some time. And I'm good, you know, I'm good. I don't, I'm not losing sleep over someone else's feelings. I'm not losing sleep over, you know, negative energy I I got a good support system thank you guys so for those of you who I mentioned in this video um y'all know how much I love you <laughs> and if you don't know by this video <laughs> you know it now um thank you uh thank you YouTube my subscribers thank you guys for letting me vent getting that off my chest um again you're not gonna see 
the videos that I promised, but you are going to see a lot of things um, pertaining to my children, pertaining to our um, routine outside of the house. Um, just really getting back in the groove of things, um, looking for a new home, all that stuff. So I'm excited for this journey. It's a little bit of a curve, but I'm not going to lose you guys along the way. Um, so if you stay for the whole video, if this made sense to you, if you can relate, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, um, hit that notification bell and share these videos because I know that I'm not the only person that's going through stuff. And I know that you know somebody, if it's not you, you know somebody that can use this video and say, wow, I can relate. Now let me start to change my perspective. Um, oh, that was what I was going to talk about. Um, some of the things that I'm doing to help myself mentally, I am journaling. I got this journal at Walmart for like six bucks, but I mainly got it because like, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Um, and I've been writing my affirmations down and there. Um, I've also been reading just like a lot of self-help books. Um, my girlfriend just sent me a whole list last night of just like family self-help books and like how to overcome like, um, I don't want to put anyone on blast, but how to overcome, um, family dynamics and just things that you don't want history to repeat itself. So it's kind of like putting a hole and just like growing from other people's mistakes. Um, so that's, a, you know, another big one. Um, I did get this book. This has been, I only read one chapter. My mother-in-law gave me this book. I, one chapter in and it literally took, physically took so much weight off of my chest. Um, so for those of you who might already know um, this book, um, definitely leave what you felt about it in my comments, but it is called The Secret and I think everyone deserves a chance to um, acknowledge this and, you know, read it if they have the time to do so. And yeah, so thank you guys. I love you guys. I love my channel. I love the support. I... And forever in debt to YouTube for uh, giving me the opportunity to um, post these videos and giving my subscribers something to relate to. Um, so don't forget if you don't already follow me on Instagram. I know that you guys are seeing content on there and you're questioning a lot of things. Feel free to um, DM me. I can answer anything for you. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be, but I promise I won't disappoint. There's a fly in my house. I opened the windows. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget the thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.